COVID-19 cases continue to decline, there's another virus that we need to be watching out for and aware of, and that is the West Nile virus. And actually, within the last few minutes, Tarrant County got with us. They confirmed they do have their first positive mosquito sample of the season. Rachel O'Neill now with why health officials are urging everybody out there to be mindful about spending time outdoors from sunset to sunrise. While many Texans are taking precautions against COVID-19, Dallas County Health and Human Services are encouraging everyone to take safety measures against the West Nile virus, a mosquito-borne disease that arrived in Dallas County back in 2002. According to DCHHS, cases of the West Nile virus spiked in 2012. They saw an uptick again in 2020. If a human contracts the virus, health officials say they could experience severe sickness. Symptoms may include high fever, neck stiffness, coma, tumors, and vision loss. People ages 60 and over are at a greater risk of serious illness if they catch the West Nile virus. Fortunately, there are steps you can take to protect yourself if you follow the four Ds. Deet, uh, which means that we want people when, whenever outside to wear repellents. Number two will be to dress accordingly. Uh, whenever outside, we want you to cover your body as much as possible and to wear light colors. Next will be to drain any water that you have around your house. We want you to do that because we know that mosquitoes feed and breed in water. Limit your activities from dusk to dawn. Rosales says the West Nile virus is most active during the summertime. So as temperatures begin to rise, he says to continue to follow the four D's. In Dallas, Rachel O'Neill, CBS 11 News. Rachel.